Hi there Aries, thank you for joining me for your June monthly forecast. The month begins with a big emphasis in the part of your horoscope on communications. But there is Mercury, ironically, the planet of communications, in a more muted area. And in fact, from the 5th through to the 10th, it's going to be going face to face with the powerful energies of Pluto. And Venus also moves on the third into this homely area. And this can heighten your sense of sensitivity. You may encounter somebody in the first couple of weeks of this month who doesn't seem to understand where you're coming from around a profoundly personal or sensitive issue. This could be a boss. Maybe you want to change your hours to be more flexible around your family. You may find that they're very unyielding. On the other hand, someone may ask a favour of you. And because this can be disguised in perhaps quite a bright and upbeat way, it can be hard to understand, at least immediately, where they're coming from. And with Uranus continuing to clash with Pluto in the first 10 days of this month, just be conscious of anything to do with power struggles or people trying to restrict your sense of individuality or freedom. Now, as Venus moves on, it too goes face to face with Pluto. And if you come yourself into contact with someone who seems to have a mesmerizing aura about them, don't just pile into this relationship without any careful thought, because it is possible that this could be someone who could enjoy all the benefits of getting to know you, but then cut and run. But in any relationship, who holds the power is going to be strongly under the astral microscope in the first half of this month. Now on the 21st, while well, the sun moves into this more homely zone as well. And it's possible that if you have had the urge to do something around gardening or around redecoration in your home, the sun will give you a little bit more grist to your mill to push this project on. And also, Jupiter, the planet of expansion, moves into this homely area on the 26th. And this six sets up a 12-month occupation, which could see some really positive things happening around your family, your home, or perhaps even a new addition to your clan. But there is a full moon on the 23rd. And this full moon also sees a link with Saturn, the planet of structure and, of course, of restriction. And a property issue could cause you some concern. Maybe you want to refinance and it's difficult to find someone who will support your aim in this regard. Perhaps you're wanting to get your first foot on the housing ladder. Or there can be inter-family politics, particularly when there's a generation gap in some way. And at the end of this month, we do have a situation where the sun itself also goes opposite Pluto. So I think you need to prepare yourself for some fairly strident conversations at points this month where people may try to crush or resist your sensitivities, your deeper held feelings, and you may find yourself in some kind of struggle to get the ascendancy. But the key is not to try to dominate anyone, but certainly not let anyone else try to dominate you. But just before the end of the month, a lighter vibe does creep in as Venus makes its way into your sister fire sign of Leo. And this can bring a much, uh, a much more bountiful and generous vibe to bear just as June comes to a close. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.